Hi, welcome to Oko Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this car vacuum cleaner. So in the box it came with, of course, the main vacuum unit and a couple of accessories. It's about a two foot extender hose. There's also a crevice tool, a brush, and also an adapter to use the crevice tool and the extender hose. And here's the main unit. Now the cord, the power cord, is about 12 feet in length and it's only, it only came with the, the cigarette power adapter. Yeah, I can't use it on a wall AC outlet. And let me just take a look at the user manual too. So here's the uh, user manual. Those are all the parts I mentioned before. Then on the back, down here, it also lists the specs for it. So it's powered by 12 volts, power consumption is 70 to 80 watts, and it has a built-in 10 amp fuse right by the cigarette port. On top unit, we have the on-off button. This is the latch to release the front compartment that stores all the dust and dirt. And for here, we have a air filter too. And this is basically it. For this part, the dust compartment, this part also comes out too. Here's a crevice to attachment. Turn the unit on. So you can see all the dirt trapped in this compartment over here. It's like a cyclone type of action. On the Amazon listing, it described this as a wet and dry vac. I'm not sure how it's going to function as a wet vac because the port to enter the uh, this dust compartment is towards the bottom over here. A lot of times for my other wet vacs, it's towards the top. It's on the top so. But as for being a dry vac, it's definitely powerful enough to suit my needs. Unfortunately, this did not come with an AC adapter and also did not come with a carrying pouch or bag. But besides that, it's a decent car vacuum cleaner and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review of the car vacuum cleaner by On Snowing. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.